So equivalent equations have exactly the same set of solutions. That means it's exactly the same x's or variables which make them true. So let's start by looking at a simple example. 4x equals 8 is going to be equivalent to 2x equals 4. Because in both of these cases, the solution is x equal 2. x equal 2 is the only solution to either this equation or this equation. Therefore, they are equivalent. These two, however, are not equivalent because the one on the left, when we solve it by dividing both sides by 3, gives us x equal 5. And that's not going to be equivalent to the one on the right, where if we divide both sides by 5, we were to get x equal 4. Clearly not equivalent solution sets. Now these two equ equations we can see are equivalent because if I simplify them, in this case by combining the uh, 3x and the 5x to 8x, gives me 8x plus 7 equals 31. Now if I simplify the lower one, 4 times 2x, Again, is equal to 8x. 4 times 2 is plus 8. And then minus 1 equals 31. So, of course, this is also 8x plus 7 equals 31. So it is, these two are going to have exactly the same solution set because they can be reduced or legitimately algebraically manipulated to be exactly the same thing. So when I'm looking for equivalent um, equations, I'm looking for equations which can be put in exactly the same form and therefore will have exactly the same set of solutions. If we look at these two, however, we'll notice they do have some similarities that we'll, we'll see as we go through. Um, but these are not going to exactly be equivalent equations. Again, I'm going to want to combine my like terms and simplify. 5x and minus 2x gives me 3x, then minus 6 equals 33. I can leave it there for now because it looks like I have something similar on the bottom. If I distribute, I do get 3x minus 6. Um, then the difference is I also have this plus 6 in here equals 33. So in this case, the plus 6 and the minus 6 cancel out, and it gives me 3x equals 33, as opposed to 3x minus 6 equal to 33. And if I were to take it even further and find out what x is, I would see that it would be a different value. Now there's many more ways that equations can be equivalent or not be equivalent. Uh, but this hopefully gives you a basic example of what we're talking about. So if you manipulate legitimately using the rules of algebra any equation, it will still be an equivalent equation. Thank you, and I hope that helps.